Hello, everyone. You're watching Madden Ultimate Team, and I'm your host, The Coach. This game should not disappoint, so sit back and put that remote down. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Lambeau. A short kick taken at the 18. And able to get this out to the 25. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they're led out by their quarterback, the former Baylor Bear. It's RG3. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. A first carry for the legend, it's Bo Jackson. And he'll get about three up past the 25. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. With it is Brown. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Throwing his hurts. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. And touchdown! Devontae Smith, 65 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Now here's Trenton Gill now. Now Brown. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Airing it out deep for Smith. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown. Devontae Smith. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. 
One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Griffin. Over the middle, completes this to Ward. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run it now with Barner. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Griffin. He'll get this to Ward. The result, only four yards there on the play. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Griffin. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. But first down, Hurts looking here for Smith downfield. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurts airing it out deep for Smith. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Hurts to throw, rolling to his right. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there, and he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. But well, one thing we certainly know, he likes to take those risks deep downfield during games, coverage or not. The coverage was there on that one. No catch, but he's also fortunate. No turnover either. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Packers force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Griffin. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Griffin now to throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. Take it at the 37. 
That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Devontae Smith on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra-quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Packers with the football here late in this first half. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. And his throw here is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Griffin's throw complete there to Johnson. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Griffin. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. To throw once more on second and 10. Griffin in trouble, and he's taken down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's at the 40, past the 20. He will score. Touchdown. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. A short kick taken at the 18. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down at inches. Griffin. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gonzalez. And he's going to have a Packers first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. 
Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What did the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Joey Bosa in on the stop. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is RG3. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Here's Griffin. Quick completion here to Johnson. And he needed to get to the midfield strike, but he can't do it. He's about a yard short, calling a gain of six on the play. And it'll be fourth down. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. Looking here for Smith downfield. And got his man complete. Touchdown. Devontae Smith. 91 yards. And this offense continues to pour it on. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes this 35 to nothing now. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fields it right around the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Now Griffin on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline. of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days but you can flex him out you can run wide receiver routes with him you can make him a primary target and that's how he'll shred a defense now a run for barner and he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. They run again with Barner. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. From the shotgun, Griffin, he finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Griffin. And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. 
And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll try and run some clock now with McCoy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Out of the shotgun, it's McCoy. And oh, he coughed it up, and the Packers pick it up. preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and you know guys either slapping at the ball or the machines you gotta learn to take care of it yeah they lost it there big fumble following the fumble recovery it's Griffin man open that's Debo Samuel and he'll be corralled right around the 34 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely first down the draw here's Jackson an all-time great tackler Brian Dawkins making the play there so this crowd will not go home happy it's a victory for our visitors and I tell you what Charles this might be about as